Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with uh, what we'll call it is a September vinyl update, I guess, or something like that. I don't know what I'll actually call it when I finally upload it. And actually, um, really, these records were given to me. I, for those who know me, know me well. Where, you know, I've been out of work, sick for a while, and you know, there's more important things than buying vinyl. There's feeding family, so I haven't really bought much vinyl lately. Uh, but I have this dear friend of mine. Um, that I go to church with, and I'll, I'll say his name uh, just to give him some recognition. My buddy, uh, Ed Greenwood. Uh, a lot of people refer to him as Uncle Ed. Yeah, lovingly refer to the guy as Uncle Ed. And um, he he collects 45s. He collects, you know, tons of them. He has probably seven, 8,000 of them, 10,000. God only knows how many 45s he just... He doesn't know how many 45s he's got. But a friend of his gave him a box of albums, an egg crate. And he, he was like, you know... I don't really care that much about albums, and usually when, you know how, I, I don't know how it is with you guys, but a lot of times when people give you vinyl, it's, if you find a couple of things that are really decent in there, you know, you're happy, you know what I mean? I, 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 you know, I found more than a few decent things. I mean, I went through this egg crate, I don't know if it had probably 80 albums or something in it anyway, not egg crate, but milk crate, I'm sorry. Um, you can't see it. It's over here. I don't think you can see it, but there's still, I'm not even going to show you everything. I picked probably 20 albums out of it, but I mean, there's stuff in here. Um, there's some, you know, different stuff like Buddy Rich, some great live. I mean, these things are all mint. Some Gordon Lightfoot, stuff like that in here. Um, some America albums, actually, that I didn't even have. You know what I mean? It was kind of cool albums that I, I've been looking for. Um, there's three or four Sinatra albums. Maybe I'll show those later on. I want to show you just some specific things, though. Um, the first couple things are actually things that I had actually gotten a month or so ago that I didn't show. So I'll show them. They're they're the only purchases out of this whole mess. Three of them. Uh, first one is I'm beefing beefing up or working on my Queen. This screensaver is killing, driving me nuts. My Queen. Um, this one. I'll pull it out of this. 1976. This is a pretty close to mint copy. A little bit of ring wear of the album Day at the Races. With, uh, Tie Your Mother Down and White Boy. Uh, um, somebody to Love. Maybe not quite as good as A Night at the Opera, but uh, a, a great record nevertheless. And it was one of those. Um, there's your inner sleeve. And the actual. Beautiful Electra, beautiful, beautiful condition uh, on this one. My other copy is dead, <laughs> close to it. And like I said, one of these days I'll get around to making a Queen um, video. I, I like Queen, mostly the 70s stuff, but that was one more getting me closer. Only need a few more now. Upgrades, anyway. Next one, uh, one of the few albums by the Jefferson Airplane that I didn't have. Volunteers, at least on vinyl. This is an, not an original pressing. It's a later 70s pressing. And, uh, Victor. RCA Victor. Good record for them. This is one, uh, one of the early Rush, well, fairly early Rush albums, you know, that I didn't have. In good shape as well. Those were the only purchases, and these were only like two, three bucks each. So, I mean, I didn't exactly spend a lot of money. This was a while ago, too. Let's get into some of the stuff that was given to me. <laughs> Pretty much given to me. This was a wild one. Tommy. By, um, actually, it's, 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 it's a compilation from the movie. Tommy, it's... Elton John and a bunch of other people on here. Um, and this was like in great, great shape. Like, okay, I'll take it. This is going to show up again in a little while. Somebody had asked me to do an Elton John, an updated full Elton John video. And I may actually do that later on. Maybe even today or something. Because I, I do my artist features once a week. And um, that was one that a, that a few people have been bugging me about. Here's one. This was in the worst shape out of all of them, and it's because of the cover. It's a Doors album without Jim Morrison. 
cover's a little dirty. Um, but the vinyl... Am I holding this right there? Right now I am. But the vinyl is in really, really remarkably good shape. Um, show you that in the original pressing of that as well. That was a nice... In, oh, get it. These were all in this box for, for nothing. Um, the band. I don't have a lot of albums by the band, and I really like the band. At least I don't have a lot of stuff on vinyl. This is an original pressing of the album Stage Fright. I'll show you the... I'm trying to do this a little more, even though it takes a little bit of time. But there's your label. And I mean, these are in great shape. I mean, I don't. The guy just was getting rid of his vinyl, and supposedly, according to Ed, there's more where this came from. I he hasn't run into this guy again, but supposedly there'll be some more. And I I really appreciate this because, like I said, this was a really you know a tough time. I haven't bought really much of any vinyl for financial reasons. So two upgrades. I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. Super Tramp. This is just an absolutely gorgeous copy of Crisis What Crisis, 1975. There's your inner sleeve for that one. And your label. Beautiful, beautiful copy um, of a really good album from Super Tramp. Uh, my copy is just is not in as good a shape. This one's an upgrade only because it's an original pressing. My pressing that I have of this Super Europe album is uh, a, an 80s pressing, not as good. Well, not as good because it's an 80s pressing, blah, 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 blah. You know, some people don't like later pressings. I, If I can find an earlier pressing, I, I like it. And also the great thing about this is that the earlier pressing actually has the inner sleeve. It's the original inner sleeve. And, of course, we are showing our little... There you go. Label. And again, in really nice, 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 nice shape, you know. Put this away. Next one, a couple of Rolling Stones. You don't usually get given Rolling Stone albums in really good shape. That just doesn't happen. Um... One of the later ones, Steel Wheel, didn't have this on vinyl at all. Original sleeve. And we'll quickly glance at the label. Uh, again, these are all in like really, really great shape. Two Rolling Stones albums was given to me. And the funny thing was, is um, two Stones albums that I either needed upgrades for or needed, period. It was just kind of just weird how that works. Goat's Head Soup, 1973. This one's in in decent shape. Cover's got a few markings on it. But the vinyl is just in really nice shape, pristine shape. So I'm not... It's an upgrade. My my other copy of this was shot. Again, a little bit of ring wear and everything. But, I mean, you got to keep in mind, this was given to me. The original inner sleeve, which I'm like, okay, this is... And that's in great shape. And the vinyl which is really looking at it again just to make sure it's like oh, okay I'll take it. it needs to be cleaned a little but definite upgrade for this album a few more to go like I said all kinds of styles of music in this I mean it wasn't just hard rock or whatever here's an example of something that when I was going through the box I was like you gotta be kidding me but um, Roxy Music the Atlantic Years, 1973-1980. Isn't a bad album at all. For a compilation, I know some people would rather just listen to the original Roxy Music albums, and I'm kind of with you, especially with the earlier stuff. But, you know, this was in really nice shape. And this is the... the um, I'm not sure if that's an original pressing or not. I mean, I haven't really taken the time. I was just like, oh, wow, this is really cool. You're giving me a Roxy Music album. Um, this one is... At first I was going to go, okay, I'm going to give this away to somebody because this would be really cool. And then I realized what it was. It's like, nah, uh, sorry. Aretha Franklin arrives. I have a stereo copy of this in really, really, really nice shape. And if you can look at this, this is freaking mint. And then I pulled it out. Uh, maybe wonder what shape this is in. 
And I looked at this and I went, oh my God, it's mono pressing. So staying with daddy, let me tell you. And it's in great, great shape. 19, 1967 for this one. Great album from Aretha. And uh, so some Tom Petty, a few Tom Petty. I'm still missing a couple on vinyl, but um, let me up. I've had enough from 85-ish or so or something like that without looking at it. Uh, the original in wonderful shape. I, I like Tom Petty, but I haven't actively searched for Tom Petty. Does that make sense? When Tom Petty stuff shows up, if it shows up really cheap, I'll pick it up. Um, I guess free is about as cheap as it gets. And um, a few more. I'm, I'm missing um, two from the mid-70s. I'm missing um, the live album. And uh, what was the album called? Southern Accents, I believe. I'm missing that. Both missing those. Oh, we got something else in here I didn't even see. Let's see what else we have in here. This is a little surprise to me. Ah, I don't even know what this has to do. Okay. Available on video cassette. Some kind of a flyer for him. I didn't even realize that was in there. On video cassette. Oh boy. Okay, next one from Tom Petty. Full Moon. It's, you know, free falling and running down a dream. I mean, this was his work with um, with um, what's his name, Jeff Lynne. Particular point time. There's your inner sleeve. All these are in great shape. I'm sorry, I'm being repetitive about that. I'm still kind of in amazement that, like I said, even if you get records given to you, and even if it's a lot of them that you really want to need, sometimes it's like it's just they're not in good shape or whatever. Um, it's another Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers album. Yeah. It's in great, great, great shape. Pull this out really quickly so you can look. Again, I've said it before, but I just have to thank Ed for you. You know, it's not always... You know, even if he had just given me some albums and most of them weren't good, it was the thought, you know, that was behind it. And I so appreciate it. And he's my good buddy. So, it has been for a while. This one... Next one, everybody has a copy of this, <laughs> but I played my copy a while ago, and it's like it was from when I was, a, you know, back when it first came out, and my copy actually skipped a couple times. I'm like, it looked good, but, so when I saw this, I said, okay, then it works, first album, and looks to be, I don't, I haven't played it yet, looks to be in, you know, in great shape as well. This is on the original, it's the only way it ever came out, Capital, uh, not Capital, but Columbia. couple more here. Um, this next one, almost done with my Bachman Turner Overdrive collection. I, I um, is one of the later albums that I did not have. I've got all the earlier albums up to this point. This one came out in 77, so I have everything up to 77. A couple more that when I find them, because uh, there's only a couple more, they're not, they're not expensive it's just trying to find them there's your label on that one so once i find them i'll do a bto video as well i, I grew up really digging bto these are not their best albums the later 70s but still it helps to have it in here a couple more and that's it just real tall aqualong total upgrade this is pretty much with the exception of a little bit of ring wear, mint. Probably one of my favorite uh, Jeff Rotol albums. And um, original pressing as well, American pressing. Um, and looks to be in fantastic shape. One more. This was um, a really cool find. Oh, this has got something in it as well. Isn't this nice? We didn't realize this. Aha! Look at that. There you go, and a little insert for that. 
Does this have a custom sleeve too? Why not? Nope, doesn't. Just a paper plane. Plain paper sleeve. One more to show you. Uh, I lied. Two more. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Cold just does not go away. Don't usually find these this out in the wild or anything by this guy in the wild. Uh, let alone have it given to you. Otis Redding. <laughs> and Carla Thomas. King and Queen. This has got the song Tramp on it. and I'm Without looking this up, it was about 67. And um, I don't know if this is an original original pressing or not. So I'm going to show it to you guys. You guys who know more than I do about stacks records. There's your label right there. I don't know if that would be an original pressing or not. I, if you could comment uh, and let me know if that's an original stacks pressing. It's a good, hearty, thick vinyl. It, it, it appears to be an original pressing. But I haven't looked it up yet. So one more. Going from the sixties soul to seventies. Oops, this is going to losing it here. Here we go. Actually this one. Yep, yeah, this one is actually a leftover from a find one of my last um jaunts to uh, the record connection. A Blackfoot album. Actually, the only Blackfoot album that I own uh, at this point is your label. But anyway, that's what I guess we'll call September Vinyl Finds or something like that. But um, again, i got to thank my buddy Ed so much for making my day, making my month. And again, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have any answers to the questions that I've asked, I'd really appreciate you either PMing me or leaving the it down in the comment section here or something. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for subscribing and watching my silly videos. Uh, and I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I do making them. Until next time, everybody, peace and love.